Chapter 191, Resolved While keeping the small black sawtooth blade into his kyunkin bag, the brand concealed within it was also directly erased by Lin Dong's vigorous mental energy. Moyun Blade As they felt their connection with the Moyun Blade completely fade away, the Han duo instantly turned ashen-faced. Over these years, the reason why they were able to be so successful, such that even some perfect Yuan Dan practitioners dare not offend them at all, was mostly due to the Moyun Blade. Although it was only a low-rank soul treasure, it was extremely effective for sneak attacks. If one was not careful, even a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners would be killed in one hit. However, the usually successful Moyun Blade seemed to have encountered some troubles today. Not only was the sneak attack sensed by Lin Dong, he had also thoroughly erased the brand within it. Hence, they had basically lost their trump card. In response, indications of their eyes turning blood red immediately appeared. Kill this bastard! While the duo were ashen-faced, Yu Shan wiped away the blood at the corner of his mouth, unable to deal with shock Lin Dong's powerful attack had on the three of them, as he sternly shouted out. He understood very well that if he failed again this time, he would truly never be able to regain his footing here. If he struggled, there might still be some hope, but if he didn't, it would mean certain death. Bang! The fact that Yu Shan was able to become the sect leader of the Blood Wolf Gang meant that he had some charisma, thus he shouted out almost immediately. He clearly understood that Lin Dong's previous attack had already caused the Han Duo to become fearful in their hearts. If he shows any signs of wanting to retreat now, these two guys would likely flee even quicker than himself. At that time, without their aid, he could not possibly threaten Lin Dong at all by himself. As Yu Shan had expected, the Han Duo were currently a little red-eyed from the heartache of losing the Moyun Blade, thus, when they saw him fearlessly charge forward, heat rushed to their heads. They slapped the ground and once again shot forward, vigorous Yuan power gushing forth and once again charging towards Lin Dong. Bang bang! Though the trio were resisting, at times, in the face of true power, this so-called resistance was useless. Therefore, just as the three charging figures were several meters from Lin Dong, their sorry figures were forced back by the formidable halberd, such that even lines of wounds were left on their chests. Blood dripped from these wounds, wetting a large portion of their clothes. One by one, gazes were filled with astonishment as they turned towards the figure which had yet to move from the spot, but instead using the halberd in his hands to push the Yushan trio to such a sorry state. Many people here still remembered how much Lin Dong had struggled just to defeat one Wei Tong. Yet, it was barely a year since then, and he now had already grown so powerful. If the departed Wei Tong knew this, he would likely have felt extremely gratified that at least his loss was only natural. Bang! Three figures flew backwards, drawing three trails of blood which were dozens of meters long. This time, they no longer had ferocious expressions as they struggled back onto their feet again. In the depths of their eyes, dread started to surface. Their desperate combined attack were actually unable to cause Lin Dong to take even a half a step back, instead, as they resisted, the wounds on their bodies only increased. As they gazed at the calm halberd wielding youngster, a sense of defeat surfaced in the Yu Shan trio's hearts. Evidently, even their combined might was unable to achieve much effect against the former's strength. I've left a disaster behind after all. Yu Shan's heart was full of bitterness. Although he had long wanted to get rid of Lin Dong, he had underestimated the latter's growth rate. Originally, he had thought that even though Lin Dong's talent was not ordinary, he would need at least two years to reach the stage where he could threaten Yu Shan. However, the reality before him today allowed him to understand that he had overestimated this period of time by several times. He definitely cannot hold out for long, as long as we endure, we will definitely whittle him to death. His gaze flickered as Yu Shan suddenly sternly said once again. As his stern shout left his mouth, Yu Shan's body violently shot forward again. Beside him, the Han Duo also launched themselves forward as a conditioned reflex. However, as the duo reached their top speed, 
they suddenly realized that Yu Shan's figure had turned around and was flying in the opposite direction. This scene caused the Han Duo to be a little taken aback. Soon after, they quickly regained their wits, as their expressions immediately turned extremely ugly. Bastard! The duo furiously cursed out, this Yu Shan obviously planned to escape, leaving the two to bring up the rear. This was one of the things the two brothers loved to do, they did not expect that they would actually be able to enjoy what it was like on the receiving end. Though they had some ties with Yu Shan, it was far from the stage where they would die for him. Thus, when they saw Yu Shan flee, the duo also simultaneously turned around, but just as they were planning to escape, a figure swept past them from over their heads, as a formidable wind ruthlessly slammed into their chests. Plop! A frightening power erupted in that moment, causing the Han duo to wildly vomit out a mouthful of blood such that even their chests caved in a little, before they were blown backwards and smashed into the Thousand Gold Association headquarters. They lay on the ground, twitching and bleeding like two dead dogs. Tie them up! When he saw the duo being beaten until they were practically paralyzed, the corners of Xia Wanjin's eyes twitched for a moment before he shouted out in a low voice. Immediately, a huge group of Thousand Gold Association troops rushed forward and tightly secured the Han Duo. Lin Dong is, truly terrifying, he obtained absolute dominance even against three opponents. With such strength, who else can be his match among the perfect Yuan Dan stage? Upon seeing the Han Duo powerless to resist as they were arrested, Xia Wanjin softly sighed in his heart. He increasingly felt that his initial investment in Lin Dong was indeed the right decision. Yu Shan wants to flee again. To one side, Su and Su's beautiful eyes concentrated at the distance as she suddenly said. If they failed this time, the Blood Wolf Gang would definitely be unable to survive. However, if Yu Shan managed to escape, it would be rather troublesome. After all, this man had considerable influence among the black societies in a hundred mile radius around Yan City. If he successfully fled, it would be a huge problem in the future. Lin Dong will not let him escape. Xia Wanjin appeared rather calm. From the methods used on Wei Tong and Gui Yan, Xia Wanjin knew that Lin Dong was a person who would never allow loose ends. Furthermore, the threat was Yu Shan was even greater than Wei Tong and the rest. Lin Dong absolutely would not allow Yu Shan to successfully escape and bring trouble again in the future. Upon hearing this, so and so also softly sighed and nodded her head. While the two of them were chatting, Yu Shan's figure had already swiftly exited the area. While he was fleeing, the Blood Wolf gang troops also fled in all directions. For a time, this area became extremely chaotic, while Yu Shan took this opportunity to hastily make distance. Lin Dong gazed at the swiftly escaping figure with calm expression on his face. A sword swept under his feet as he body slowly floated. However, he stayed in midair and did not give any indication of chasing. Although Lin Dong's actions caused some people to be a little astonished, due to the overwhelming power that he had demonstrated before, they did not dare to question him. In the chaos, Yu Shan's figure managed to flee further and further. Moments later, only when he dashed into the chaotic crowds did he quietly sigh in relief before leaning his head and looking at Lin Dong, who was hovering in mid-air a distance away, as a sinister look flashed across the former's eyes. Shitty brat, just wait. You have destroyed my blood wolf gang, I, Yu Shan, will definitely ruin you and your family. Yu Shan's venomously mumbled to himself. Of course, while these malicious thoughts churned in his head, his speed did not slow in the slightest. In a flash, he ran another dozen or so meters away. Bang! However, just as Yu Shan moved several meters after exiting the chaotic crowd, the ground before him suddenly exploded. Broken rocks flew upwards, as a barely discernible black shadow flitted across the corners of his eyes, bringing the faint smell of death with it. When that black shadow flitted across the corners of his eyes, all the hairs on Yu Shan's body stood on end. His years of experience allowed him to desperately urge the Yuan power in his body to form thin layers of Yuan power membranes in front of him. Pop pop pop! 
As the Yuan power membranes formed, without waiting for Yu Shan to relax, the black shadow quietly arrived. Layers of seemingly sturdy Yuan power membranes crumbled layer by layer. The rate at which the Yuan power membranes crumbed was frighteningly quick. In a mere few breaths, it tore apart the last layer of Yuan power defense and appeared before the dismayed Yu Shan. No. This attack was extremely fierce and swift. As he gazed at the black shadow which rapidly enlarged in his eyes, a plea hastily sounded out from Yu Shan's throat. Plop! Just as the sound left his mouth, a tiny noise rang out, as the black shadow directly pierced through his throat, leaving a pillar of blood in its wake. Meanwhile, Yu Shan's body turned rigid as it fell. Bang! Yu Shan's body slowly fell, before heavily slamming into the ground. A low sound caused quite a few gazes to be cast over. However, when they saw Yu Shan lying in a pool of blood, the sounds from their mouths were practically cut off in an instant. The scene suddenly lapsed into silence. Everyone's minds were blank as they stared at the corpse that was slowly turning stiff and cold. The top practitioner who had terrorized Yan City for about a dozen years, the sect leader of the Blood Wolf Gang, had now died in such a way? In the silence, Lin Dong raised his palm, as the black shadow returned, before transforming into a small black sawtooth blade and appeared in his hand. This was the low rank soul treasure he had snatched from the Han Duo, the Moyun Blade. Not bad. Lin Dong looked down at the object in his hand, as the corners of his mouth lifted in a smile. The once greatest threat had finally been resolved today. Chapter 192 Fall of the Blood Wolf Gang The news of Yu Shan's assassination blew across the scene like wind. The Blood Wolf Gang troops will to fight practically vanished in an instant, together with their previous ferociousness. In their place, was an endless panic. Everyone knew that with the loss of Yu Shan, it would be difficult for the Blood Wolf Gang to establish themselves in Yan City again. Furthermore, under the furious counter-attack of the Thousand Gold Association, it was likely that the former would be completely cleaned out from Yan City. This top faction which had towered over Yan City for about a dozen years was now completely defeated, and the one who had caused this change was merely a youngster who was not even twenty years of age. As they gazed at the halberd-wielding figure which slowly landed on the ground, everyone could feel the solemn aura from his body. Shimmering in his eyes, was a heart palpitating and icy glint. On his own, he could fight against three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. With such strength, even in this entire Yan city, who could hope to match up against him? While Lin Dong's body landed, most of the Blood Wolf gang troops had already started to flee for their lives, with the exception of a few resisting famed elites. Naturally, the Thousand Gold Association would not give up this opportunity to chase them down. Their battered main entrance suddenly jutted open, as a large group of infuriated Thousand Gold Association troops gushed forth like a tidal wave. Full of killing intent, they hunted down the Blood Wolf gang troops that were now fleeing for their lives. Some of these obstinate fighters were directly drowned by this tidal wave. Yu Shan's death very clearly demonstrated defeat by a landslide. That seemingly invincible Blood Wolf gang was quickly decimated in mere minutes, suffering major casualties due to the Thousand Gold Association's efforts. With regards to hunting down the remaining Blood Wolf gang members, Lin Dong was not too interested in it. After all, these matters would be deftly handled by the Thousand Gold Association. He slowly walked towards Yu Shan's body, which was lying in a pool of blood, as he stared at the man, who was once a tyrant in Yan City, with calm eyes. He clearly understood how vicious this man was, hence, this time around, he could not afford to let him live. Else, he would encounter more problems down the road. While Lin Dong was staring at Yu Shan's corpse, the rest of the Lin family members swiftly huddled over. They stared at that ice-cold corpse, as a look of awe flashed across their eyes. Dong Yar's abilities have far surpassed us. Lin Zhenjian stroked his beard as he looked to his side at Lin Dong. The expression on his face could not be described by mere words. He had painstakingly worked for a good part of his life in order to establish his Lin family in Qingyang town. 
However, once Lin Dong sprung up, in mere two years, their Lin family had already managed to establish such a position for themselves in Yan City. Previously, this was something that he could not have imagined. To one side, Lin Ken and the rest nodded their heads, before they said with a smile, it seems like Dong Er has benefited substantially from the trip to the old tomb. Lin Dong chuckled. With a wave of his palm, he kept the ancient heavenly scales halberd into his Qunkin bag. Tilting his head towards Lin Zhentian and Lin Xiao, he mumbled to himself for a while before he said, Grandpa, Father. This time, after the Blood Wolf Gang has been taken care of, I shall leave Yan City for a period of time. Leave? Where to? When they heard his words, Lin Zhentian and the rest were stunned. I will go to a place that will allow me to become even stronger. Lin Dong was silent for a moment before he spoke. If it was not for the trip to the old tomb, perhaps he would be content to stay here and wait for the clan gathering, however, at that time, he would still be an ant in Lin Longtian's eyes. Even if the him at that time challenged Lin Langtian, the result would likely be similar to Lin Xiao in the past. This was not a sight he wanted to see. After he saw how his spirited father was reduced to such a sorry state by Lin Langtian, defeating that latter had always been a goal in his mind. The matters that happened in the old tomb only served to amplify his desire to accomplish this goal. In fact, in some ways, Lin Dong should thank Lin Langtian. That was because the latter led him to understand that there was still a huge distance between the two of them. Sometimes, it's not terrible to learn that there is still a gap between you and your opponents. Rather, it's scary when you only learn it after it's too late. Thankfully, Lin Dong managed to discover the gap between him and Lin Langtian. Hence, this gave him the opportunity to play catch up. Furthermore, he once swore to defeat Lin Langtian. During the clan gathering, he will defeat this legendary figure famed throughout the entire Yan dynasty in front of everyone. Hence, in order to accomplish this, he was prepared to pay a huge sacrifice and work extremely hard. Dong Er, what happened? Did they slight you during the trip to the old tomb? As Lin Dong's father, Lin Xiao evidently understood Lin Dong very well. His gaze flashed, as he furrowed his eyebrows and inquired. Father, I am fine. It's just that Yan City no longer suits the current me. Lin Dong smiled as he replied. Right now, he had already grown up and should handle some issues on his own. Even if he spoke of his conflict with Lin Langtian, other than making Lin Xiao and the rest enraged, there was little else that it would accomplish. Lin Xiao stared at Lin Dong. Moments later, his palm heavily patted the latter's shoulder, as he slowly said, Regardless of your decision, we will not object. However, do not forget this, wherever you are, and no matter what you have been through, as long as you return here, this is always your home. We may not be as powerful, however for you, we will do anything. As he looked at the solemn expression on Lin Xiao's face, Lin Dong's heart warmed a little. Promptly, he nodded his head and said with a smile, Don't worry dad, in two years, I will return in time for the clan gathering. At that time, I will avenge the humiliation that you suffered. He did not say the last sentence out loud, rather it sounded out inside Lin Dong's heart. On that day, he would let all the Lin clan members, who ridiculed his father, know that the son had came to repay his father's debts. To one side, when Lin Ken and the rest heard of Lin Dong's plan to leave, they were somewhat saddened. However, they did not object but rather patted the latter's shoulder and said a few touching words. Even though their family was not yet as powerful as some other families, they had a strong sense of camaraderie that other factions lacked. Little Brother Lin Dong While Lin Dong chatted with Lin Xiao and the rest, Xia Wanjin led several high-ranking members of the Thousand Gold Association and hurriedly walked over, before they bowed solemnly at Lin Dong. Brother Lin Dong, we are in your debt. You have helped our Thousand Gold Association tremendously. In the future, if you require assistance from my Thousand Gold Association, we will throw our full weight behind you without question. 
Xia Wanjin's face was especially serious as he declared. In the past, Lin Dong's abilities and potential clearly demonstrated that he was an asset worthy of investment. However, right now, based on Lin Dong's abilities, he had already reached a stage where Wan Jin would look up to the former. Fighting against three opponents alone, killing one and even severely injuring the other two. This result caused his heart to skip a beat. After all, he clearly remembered that when he first met Lin Dong, the latter was merely at the Heavenly Yuan stage. However, with Lin Dong's current abilities, even if he wanted to dominate Yan City, it would not be an impossible feat. Haha, <laughs> Chairman Xia is too kind. Initially, I received much help and assistance from the Thousand Gold Association and Big Sister Su. If your association encounters any troubles in future, Lin Dong will be surely do his best to help out. Lin Dong gently smiled as he replied. Behind Xia Wanjin, a wide smile was plastered to Suan Su's beautiful face. The reason why the Thousand Gold Association was able to establish close ties with Lin Dong was mostly thanks to her efforts. Right now, the latter's ability and attitude did not disappoint her at all. Chairman Xia, after this matter, I may leave Yan City for a while. At that time, I hope that you can look after my Lin family. Oh? You are leaving. Upon hearing these words, Xia Wanjin was taken aback. Slight reluctance was contained in his eyes, however he did not comment. Solemnly nodding his head, he replied, Don't worry, as long as my Thousand Gold Association is around in Yan City, we will be Lin family's closest ally. At this stage, no one would doubt Lin Dong's potential. Even if he left Yan City, he would eventually return one day. At that time, his strength would have probably grown tremendously again. Therefore, for their Thousand Gold Association, this was a massive hidden ally. Yu Shan is dead. The Blood Wolf Gang now only exists in name. However, a dying camel is still larger than a horse, if one is negligent, one may leave behind several potential problems. Lin Dong gently smiled, glancing at the corpse and the floor as he spoke. Haha, <laughs> little brother Lin Dong, don't worry. The remnants of Blood Wolf Gang will never appear in Yan City again. Xia Wanjin was a wise man. He knew that since Lin Dong was going away for a while, he would naturally worry about his Lin family. Now that he had destroyed the Blood Wolf Gang, the Blood Wolf Gang remnants would definitely harbor a grudge and may attempt to ambush the Lin family. Hence, he immediately patted his chest as he reassured Lin Dong with a smile. After hearing these words, Lin Dong gently nodded his head. With a smile, he said, In that case, I am sorry to trouble Chairman Xia. With regards to the two individuals from the Black Python Mountain, I hope that they can be cleanly taken care of. When he heard Lin Dong's casual words, Xia Wanjin's heart slightly shuddered. He could hear that Lin Dong was clearly unwilling to let Han Sheng and Han Zong escape. I will handle this matter. Xia Wanjin's eyes slightly narrowed as he softly said. Thank you. Now that this matter has been resolved, it's time for me to return home. If there are any further complications, you can find me at the Lin family. Lin Dong chuckled, not wanting to linger on in this chaotic area. Cupping his hands at Xia Wanjin and Su and Su, he led the Lin family as they slowly departed. As they walked, the surrounding crowd swiftly made way for them. Right now, none of them dared to underestimate this Lin family, which had only recently established themselves in Yan City. The shocking strength displayed by Lin Dong today had definitely knocked several of them out of their wits. Let's go. The Blood Wolf Gang is finished. On a distant building, the middle-aged man with jade white skin softly chuckled, before he turned to leave. As he took a few steps, he suddenly paused. In future, interact more with the Lin family. This Lin Dong holds tremendous potential and his accomplishments in the future will be astounding. A mere province or even an empire will not tie him down. When they heard this middle-aged man's evaluation, a little awe surfaced in Ziyu and Grandmaster Yan's eyes. Chapter 193, Eruption of Yin Energy 
Yu Shan's death and the destruction of the Blood Wolf Gang undoubtedly became the hottest topic in Yan City during this period. No one had expected that the faction which had stood strong for about a dozen years, would completely fall apart in less than a month. Of course, as news of this spread, word of the main protagonist of this story, Lin Dong, spread like wildfire. Taking on three opponents by himself, plus, his opponents were extremely famous in Yan City and its vicinity. However, even if this was so, the former still managed to kill one and injure the other two. With this kind of battle record, even when an ordinary person talked about it, he would feel the blood in his body start to boil a little. Such boldness truly caused one to be subdued. Moreover, when they heard that this person was not even twenty years of age, that subdued feeling would transform into a loud gasp of admiration. In the last hundred years of Yan City's history, this kind of talent had never appeared before. The Lin family was truly lucky to have such a descendant. In the following half a month, the previously rather famous Blood Wolf Gang gradually faded like smoke under the Thousand Gold Association's merciless counter-attack. Not one of the stronger practitioners in the gang was let off, as they were directly cleaned up by the Thousand Gold Association. When some of the ordinary factions saw this, they quickly made themselves scarce like frightened birds and animals. Furthermore, the factions which had some ties with the Blood Wolf Gang previously hastily denied any relation to the latter, afraid that they would be implicated in this extermination. As the Blood Wolf Gang was exterminated, the reputation of the Thousand Gold Association in Yan City also soared like the sun. Of course, compared to the unbounded Thousand Gold Association, the Lin family were much more low-key, and did not show off or spread news of this matter, as they continued their regular daily activities. Of course, after this matter occurred, most things proceeded extremely smoothly for the Lin family in Yan City, and there were no longer any factions which dared to obstruct them. After all, everyone knew that the biggest reason why the Thousand Gold Association were able to turn defeat into victory against the Blood Wolf Gang was due to Lin Dong of the Lin family. With regards to their top-class practitioner, even the Thousand Gold Association was unable to match up to the Lin family which possessed this kind of heavyweight like Lin Dong. Who else would dare to offend them, wouldn't that be courting death? Thus, although the Lin family's overall power was most likely unable to reach the same level as the Thousand Gold Association, after the Blood Wolf Gang had been wiped out, the Lin family had already become the new and genuine top faction in Yan City. While Yan City was abuzz due to the purge of the Blood Wolf Gang by the Thousand Gold Association, Lin Dong did not take even half a step outside. Over this period of time, he stayed in the Lin family because after the Lin family younger generation knew that he would be leaving, many of them hastily tried to make the best use of their time to ask him for guidance in martial arts. In response, Lin Dong welcomed all of them. After all, if the Lin family's power could grow even a little, he would worry just a tiny bit less. Boom! In a courtyard deep in the Lin family estate, a faintly golden glow flickered in the air. A golden platform floated in mid-air, emitting an extremely oppressive aura. The golden platform appeared faintly golden in color and was about three meters large, giving off the sensation of being as heavy as a mountain. However, this square golden platform was not as compact as the one Wang Yan had displayed, but instead somewhat more illusionary. Bang! The golden platform flipped in mid-air, before slamming into the ground directly turning a boulder to dust with a force so great that even cracks started forming on the ground. As he observed this destructive power, Lin Dong only slightly shook his head, a little unsatisfied. The might of the subduing golden platform magic palm he displayed clearly fell short of Wang Yan's. However, there was nothing wrong with this. The minimum requirement of the subduing golden platform magic palm was that one needed to reach the form creation stage or else, one would be unable to create a golden platform, and the attack power would be rather limited, unable to bring out that strong and powerful aura. Although the current Lin Dong had advanced to the perfect Yuan Dan stage, this was after all still a distance from the form creation stage. While using the Heavenly Scales Halberd technique, he was able to borrow the might of the ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd to bring out its power. However, 
this subduing golden platform magic palm needed the support of one's innate strength. Lin Dong being able to compact the golden platform to such a stage at the perfect Yuan Dan stage was already a fairly decent achievement. If it was not for the aid of his mental energy, he would definitely be unable to manipulate Yuan power to such an extent. Simply put, the so-called form creation was one's level of control of Yuan power. Only when one reached a certain degree of mastery would one be able to compact Yuan power into various shapes, and possess the ability to greatly strengthen one's attacks. Lin Dong's mental energy was not weak, and was able to complement controlling Yuan power rather well, helping him achieve a somewhat remarkable effect. Of course, this kind of path where one cultivates both mental energy and Yuan power was not unique to Lin Dong. Most practitioners would achieve a certain level of proficiency in both fields, however, one field would usually be deeper while the other shallower. Brother Lin Dong is great. While Lin Dong was deep in thought, a young girl's lively laughter suddenly sounded out. Upon hearing this voice, Lin Dong softly chuckled, as he lifted his head and gazed at the beautiful young girl in light-colored clothings nearby. He promptly walked over, taking a look at Ching Tan's slightly pale face, as his eyebrows furrowed, if you're unwell, don't run about too much. Over this period, the breakout of yin energy in Ching Tan's body had become increasingly difficult to deal with. However, Lin Dong was not anxious to immediately use the extreme yin dragon saliva. This was because he still needed to wait for the time when the amount of yin energy reached its peak in a month. This time arrived tonight. Upon hearing this, Ching Tan happily laughed, making a face at Lin Dong, before tugging at the latter's arm. Her small and delicate face suddenly darkened a little as she said in a soft voice, Brother Lin Dong is going to leave soon right? To protect the people I want to protect, I need strength. My current strength is still not enough to protect all of you, thus, I require a greater strength, a strength that I cannot obtain in Yan City. Lin Dong tenderly stroked Ching Tan's fine hair as he replied. I also want to protect brother Lin Dong. Ching Tan pouted a little and suddenly declared. Haha, that will have to wait until you surpass me first. Lin Dong was delighted, soon after, he rubbed his chin and said, if we are able to subdue the yin energy in your body tonight, in the future you will slowly be able to control the yin energy in your body. After which, your future achievements can only be described using the word terrifying. Surpassing me will then be a very simple matter. Really? Ching Tan's limpid eyes shined as she joyfully asked. Lin Dong softly chuckled as he nodded his head. He was silent for a moment before he continued, however, some matters are a little dangerous, and even fatal. Brother Lin Dong, I am not afraid. As if she sensed the hesitation in Lin Dong's tone, Ching Tan abruptly lifted her small face and declared without the slightest hesitation. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong was once again silent, before he finally nodded his head, MM, you should go make proper preparations, tonight's matter is quite important. Ching Tan beamed as she heard this and repeatedly nodded her head. Her footsteps were quick and light as she fluttered away like a butterfly. As he watched Ching Tan's leaving figure, Lin Dong's expression turned a little solemn. On his shoulder, little Martin appeared and said, I should remind you that if the yin energy in her body completely erupts and she is unable to control it, she would at best be severely injured, and at worst, die on the spot. Of course, if she succeeds, it would be extremely beneficial for her. In the future, as long as she forms a yin dan, her strength would definitely soar. At that time, even you will find it very difficult to beat her. Although one has to go through trial after trial with this kind of physique, once the restrictions are undone, one will definitely become a favored child of the heavens. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head, he did not care if Ching Tan became strong. He would be most happy as long as she could happily live her life. Even if this is so, Ching Tan's body cannot endure for much longer. Hence, we might as well go all out and fight. Lin Dong had already mulled over this matter for half a month. Over this period, the frequency of the yin energy in Ching Tan's body erupting became more and more frequent. 
If this continued, Qing Tan would at most last half a year before her body becomes unable to resist the corrosion of the yin energy. Since the final outcome was the same, they would fight. Phew! Deeply sucking in a breath of cold air, Lin Dong lifted his head and gazed at the gradually darkening sky, as he mumbled, it will definitely succeed. Late at night, Qing Tan quietly sat on a stone platform in one of the inner courtyards within the Lin family estate. Cold yin energy slowly curled around her, such that even a thin layer of frost covered the stone platform. The yin energy in Qing Tan's body had yet to erupt, yet it already caused these changes in her surroundings. It was difficult to imagine how terrifying it would be when it really erupted. Below the stone platform, Lin Dong lifted his head and looked at the night sky. As the bright moon gradually dimmed, the yin energy around them also gradually became richer. He could even sense threads of yin energy invading Qing Tan's body without her control. Qing Tan's eyes were tightly shut. As the yin energy gushed in, the terrifying cold qi hidden deep in her body gave indications of appearing once again, while a chill quietly flowed out. As this chill flowed out little by little, about half an hour later, Qing Tan's body suddenly started trembling a little. The yin energy in her body was also triggered by the surrounding rich cold qi. Hum hum. Yin energy gushed about in mid-air, and continuously poured into Qing Tan's body while emitting wind noises. Lin Dong's eyes were tightly fixed on Qing Tan. When the yin energy in the latter's body reached the critical point, his eyes suddenly turned serious, as he lifted his hand and a jade box flew out from his Qunkin bag. When the jade box opened, a black elixir that emitted an exceedingly potent and pure yin energy slowly floated out, before finally hovering above Qing Tan's head. Sui! Lin Dong's gaze flashed, as his fist suddenly clenched. The extreme yin dragon saliva straight away burst open, as an invisible pressure transformed it into deep black drops of viscous liquid that was filled with an inexhaustible cold yin energy. They dripped onto Qing Tan's head, and swiftly invaded her body. Boom! As each drop of deep black cold yin liquid entered Qing Tan's body, yin energy suddenly swept out from Qing Tan's body like a hurricane. In the face of this terrifying yin energy, even Lin Dong was momentarily shocked. Chapter 194, Black Yin Dan The terrifying yin energy were like huge dragons, as they frantically burst out from Qing Tan's body. In an instant, the courtyard turned biting cold, as if the flesh was being cut off your bone, while a ghastly chill filled the air. Ka ka! The stone platform where Qing Tan was seated was so chilled by the extreme cold that it emitted cracking noises, as a thick layer of frost swiftly spread outwards. To think that the yin energy hidden in Qing Tan's body is this frightening. Lin Dong wore a solemn expression as he gazed at this sight. This was the first time he had seen such a frightening yin energy. Under the corrosion of such a yin energy, even he felt the blood in his body faintly start to solidify. Immediately, he urged his yuan power to wrap around his entire body. Only then did the ice-cold sensation weaken substantially. The terminus devil body was originally the most yin. Over these years, her body has been constantly absorbing the yin energy from around her. After settling for more than a dozen years, this yin energy had already become exceptionally powerful. If she is able to control it, she will possess a matchless cultivation foundation. In the future, her achievements will be limitless. Little Martin appeared on Lin Dong's shoulder, as it took a look at the cold qi which filled the courtyard before explaining. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head. He did not care how strong Qing Tan would become, as long as she was safe, he would be satisfied. Boom! While Lin Dong was watching with a serious expression, a pained look suddenly surfaced on Qing Tan's face. Her body violently trembled as the yin energy that erupted from her body showed faint signs of turning black. Moreover, that kind of yin energy had also become much more potent. The terminus devil chi has been drawn out. Upon seeing this, little Martin spoke out in a low voice. This was the most terrifying thing in Qing Tan's body. If Lin Dong was infected by this terminus devil chi, his yuan power would likely be straightaway frozen before completely shattering. 
The thick black terminus devil chi was like huge ropes which winded around Qing Tan. The terminus devil chi tangled with each other, looking just like a humongous black storm which soared towards the clouds. Ah! As the terminus devil chi endlessly gushed out from her body, black specks surfaced in Qing Tan's eyes, making her look extremely strange, while a pained and hoarse cry sounded out from her mouth. TCH the terminus devil chi curled around Ching Tan's lily white hands, before ferociously smashing into a boulder in front of her. In the face of this power, the originally sturdy boulder had become as weak as Tufu. Ching Tan cannot endure any more. As he gazed at the Ching Tan's trembling body and her wildly dancing hair, Lin Dong expression started to change. The terminus devil chi has erupted too violently, it needs to be suppressed. Little Martin was deep in thought as it said in a low voice, Use the pure Yuan pills, this terminus devil chi is exceedingly tyrannical, you cannot touch it, or else it will be very difficult for you to survive. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong did not hesitate at all. His palm lifted as an endless stream of pure Yuan pills flew out from his Qunkin bag and floated closely together in the sky. From the looks of it, there were at least a thousand of them. After drawing out a thousand pure Yuan pills, Lin Dong's palm once again moved, as a faintly golden Yuan power burst out from his palm. As the Yuan power spread out, the numerous pure Yuan pills hovering in the air immediately showed signs of melting. In the end, they transformed into an extremely vigorous and pure Yuan power. Go! Having transformed this one thousand pure Yuan pills into pure Yuan power, Lin Dong's sleeve waved as the Yuan power poured down like a river, before slamming into Ching Tan's body, and continuously infusing in. Ch ch. As the powerful Yuan power poured in, the terminus devil chi around Ching Tan's body emitted waves of black smoke, and the increasingly violent eruption was forcibly restrained. Although the current Lin Dong found it extremely troublesome to deal with this terminus devil chi, he had a considerable amount of resources to respond to it. This 1000 pure Yuan pills was akin to the combined force of several perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. Hence, suppressing the unripe terminus devil chi in Ching Tan's body was not impossible. Surging Yuan power poured down in torrents, as the pained look on Ching Tan's face lessened substantially. Just as she sighed in relief in her heart, Lin Dong's shout suddenly sounded out in her ear, Ching Tan, concentrate and win over the terminus devil chi. Only when you have compressed the terminus devil chi in your body into a dan, will you gain complete control over it. After hearing Lin Dong's shout, Ching Tan's became a little more clear-headed. She hastily concentrated and did her best to control the terminus devil chi which filled her body, directing all of it towards her danshan before compressing it. As Ching Tan focused, the terminus devil chi within her body started to scream, as it swiftly traveled through her body. Every time the terminus devil chi passed through her channels, muscles, and bones, it caused Ching Tan's body to tremble violently, as an acute pain like that of a knife cutting her spread out across her entire body. However, although the terminus devil chi corroded her body, and brought with it this intense pain, Ching Tan could feel that her body and organs were strengthening bit by bit under the pain. This kind of strengthening would gradually allow Ching Tan to completely adapt to the overbearing terminus devil chi. As she felt this change, Ching Tan resolutely gritted her teeth and bitterly endured. She understood that if she managed to successfully endure this, her strength would definitely advance by leaps and bounds. This was what she needed, because she did not want to see Lin Dong carrying all the burdens of their family on his shoulders every time. She wanted to help him and not be a burden to him. Hence, she also needed to become strong, and now, this was the most crucial step in becoming strong. She must not fail. A determined look flashed across Ching Tan's limpid and quick-witted eyes. Her lily-white hands tightly clenched, and with a flick of her mind, the terminus devil chi curling around her body started to surge, before being directly absorbed into her tiny mouth. Hum hum. The black mist dragons which twined around her body started to swirl frantically. Joined at head to tail around Ching Tan's head as they screamed out, forcefully sucking in all the yin energy in a 300 meter radius. This colon. 
When he saw this scene, Lin Dong was taken aback, as his body hastily retreated backwards. Even he dare not stay too close to this Berserkian energy vortex. Although it is very late at night, this disturbance will definitely be sensed by some practitioners, Lin Dong's gaze slightly flickered, as he lifted his head and gazed at the sky in the distance. He could sense the appearance of some Yuan power undulations in that direction. Evidently, this disturbance had drawn the attention of a few practitioners. The current Qing Tan cannot be disturbed. Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed, as a sword flickered below his feet. He swiftly floated into the air, grasping onto his ancient heavenly scales halberd. The halberd stamped in the skies as a powerful aura spread outwards. In Yan City, the expressions of the practitioners, who originally intended to scout this disturbance, changed when they saw the young figure hovering in mid-air, as they conscientiously stopped in their steps. Lin Dong had a rather overwhelming reputation in Yan City now, such that quite a number of people called him the number one practitioner in Yan City. With him overseeing this affair, no one dared to rashly take a peek. The Lin family is in that direction, this disturbance, it looks like someone is about to have a breakthrough to the perfect Yuan Dan stage. This Lin family has truly concealed many talents. True it is likely that the Lin family will become the true leader of Yan City in the future. In the night, some amazed whispers quietly spread about. At the center of Yan City, a man with a jade-like complexion lifted his head and gazed in the Lin family's direction. His expression was a little solemn, as he could sense the terrifying Yan energy in that area. This Lin family, is truly extraordinary. Leaving numerous practitioners in awe, Lin Dong looked down at Qing Tan. At this moment, black waves were rippling out from her body. These black rippled were extremely formidable and tyrannical, leaving behind a layer of black frost wherever they passed. The entire courtyard was covered in black frost. Fortunately, Lin Dong knew the disturbance this time would not be small. Hence, he intentionally found a more remote area, or else, if this cold chi were to escape, it would cause considerable damage. The terminus devil chi in her body is becoming more and more frightening. This lass, her willpower does not lose out to yours in the slightest. To think that she is actually able to endure the pain from the terminus devil chi corrosion. Little Martin suddenly said as it watched Ching Tan. Bang! Just as Little Martin's voice sounded out, Ching Tan's eyes abruptly opened. Two strange black lights burst out from her eyes, and wherever the lights shined, countless black icicles would erupt from the ground with ka ka sounds. When she opened her eyes, the aura from Ching Tan's body started to soar frantically. Heavenly you in early stage, middle stage, late stage. In a short few minutes, Ching Tan had already jumped to the heavenly you in late stage. She was now only a single step from the Yuan Dan stage. When her aura reached the heavenly Yu in late stage, Ching Tan's small mouth slightly opened, as the black storm-like terminus devil chi around her body immediately flew into that small cherry mouth. The black terminus devil storm that was a dozen meters large completely entered Ching Tan's body in a few minutes. Buzz buzz! As the last bit of terminus devil chi was sucked into Ching Tan's body, her long hair suddenly spread out. Ching Tan abruptly lifted her head as a black light slowly rose out from her mouth. As the black light rose, it was as if the yin energy all around was being drawn in, and endlessly gathered towards the black light. As more and more yin energy was absorbed into the black light, the black light gradually grew brighter. In the end, it started to spin and slowly transformed into a deep black dan that was about the size of a thumb. This yuan dan was not large, and was covered in a deep black color. This kind of black looked as if it was able to gobble down one's gaze, an extremely strange sight. Just as this deep black Yuan Dan formed, Ching Tan's aura once again crazily soared under Lin Dong and quite a few practitioners' astonished senses. To think that the Terminus Devil body would be so terrifying after its awakening. Chapter 195, Activating the Stone Talisman Such a powerful Yuan power undulation. Lin Dong wore a serious expression as he gazed at the black Yuan Dan which was emitting Yuan power undulations. 
This black Yuan Dan was different from the Yuan Dans he had seen before, because within this black Yuan Dan, he was not able to sense even the slightest bit of Yin Yang power. In place of it was an extremely pure Yin power. This kind of Yin power was extremely formidable and tyrannical. One could only imagine how domineering it would be in a battle. People with these types of pure Yin or pure Yang bodies are exceedingly well equipped for cultivation. In fact, they should be considered as the real pride of the heavens. Right now, her body has not fully matured. After she has fully matured, her accomplishments will be substantial. A look of awe flashed across little Martin's eyes. Even though this was not the first time he had encountered such a body type, jealousy involuntarily surfaced in his heart. People with these type of pure body structures are able to accomplish twice the amount in the same time compared to normal practitioners. Kington should have succeeded. Lin Dong asked. Yes, that girl is extremely tenacious. Just now, when the terminus devil Chi cleansed her body, she managed to forcefully endure that excruciating pain. Thankfully, you used a large amount of Yuan power to forcefully control that terminus devil Chi explosion. Else, regardless of how tenacious she is, she would not be able to endure that blow. Little Martin nodded his head as he said. When he heard these words, Lin Dong gently heaved a sigh of relief. With regards to Kington, the assistance he could provide her was rather limited. Now that he saw that the latter was safe, his heart was calm. While Lin Dong heaved a sigh of relief, below him, a thumb-sized black Yin Dan was still slowly swirling. As more and more Yin energy was absorbed by it, the Yuan power vibration undulated by that Yin Dan became increasingly formidable. As that black Yin Dan swirled, its body was slowly enlarging. Moments later, when it was approximately the size of a small walnut, it finally stopped. On the surface of the Yin Dan now, its color had become increasingly dark and it seemed like any light reflected on it has been swallowed. From a distance, it seemed just like a black hole. Even though it was small, it gave off a heart-palpitating aura. When that Yin Dan stopped growing, Kington opened her tiny mouth, before the former turned into a black flash and entered inside her body. Boom! When that Yin Dan entered Kington's body, an exceedingly powerful Yuan power shockwave exploded forth. That exceedingly powerful shockwave directly shattered all the black ice in the yard, before they turned into mist and floated off. Have you succeeded? As she first experienced this immense power flowing through her body, a look of delight gushed forth in Kington's eyes. In the future, the terminus devil chi inside your body will not explode again, Lin Dong's body gradually approached Kington. As he stared at the latter's smile, he gently smiled as well. Right now, Kington's strength would not lose out to a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner. Hence, even if he left Yan City, their Lin family would still be quite powerful. In fact, in the future, Kington would likely replace him to become the strongest member of Lin family. Lin Dong brother, right now I am quite strong too. Can I come with you? Kington suddenly lifted her jade-like hands, as a trace of black Yuan power stealthily flowed between her long and beautiful fingertips. Then she stared somewhat eagerly at Lin Dong as she asked. Lin Dong was slightly stunned, before he shook his head without hesitation. His journey this time was not for leisure. Furthermore, the outside world was several hundred times more dangerous than Yan City. In certain places, he was not even confident that he could protect himself. Hence, how could he risk bringing Kington along? When she saw Lin Dong's expression, Kington knew that there was no room for discussion. Immediately, she grunted in disappointment. When he saw this situation, Lin Dong involuntarily smiled. Then, he lovingly stroked Kington's tiny head as he said, Don't worry. When the family clan competition begins, I will be back. At that time, it will be time for that fellow to repay this debts. Lin Dong lifted his head as he stared at that full moon. In his mind, the image of Lin Langtian staring at him just like an ant resurfaced. Lin Langtian, in two years' time, we shall meet again. After resolving Kington's problems, 
Lin Dong was evidently able to relax. In the following two days' time, he felt more light-hearted. Elsewhere, he gave a portion of his pure Yuan pills to Lin Zhentian and the rest. For the Lin family, this amount of money was still considered rather substantial. With these resources in hand, their Lin family's progress would definitely be more smooth sailing. Inside the serene room, Lin Dong was seated on his bed. A stream of mental energy shot out from his eyes, before a mental energy map surfaced in front of him. This mental energy map was largely the map of Great Yan Dynasty. On the bottom left corner of the map, was a flashing red dot. That was the location of an ancient symbol and that was where Lin Dong was headed to. On that mental energy map, it showed the locations of two ancient symbols. However, Lin Dong only knew the area around one of them. For the other, its surroundings seemed exceedingly foreign and it was evidently not situated in Great Yan Dynasty. Hence, Lin Dong could only target the other one. On Lin Dong's shoulder, Little Martin suddenly appeared as he stared at that mental energy map. During this period of time, I have been studying the map. The location of that ancient symbol should be in the Great Wilderness Province situated at the west side of Great Yan Dynasty. Lin Dong stared at that red dot as he muttered. Great Wilderness Province was a large county situated at the western edge of Great Yan Dynasty. Its land area was several times larger than Tian Dug Province. However, since it was situated near the border, it was an extremely chaotic place dominated by several major factions. In fact, even the reputation of the four great clans in Great Yan Dynasty will be heavily discounted in such a place. That place was several times more dangerous than Yan City. A perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner may be able to cause waves in Yan City. However, at that place, he would definitely fail to do so. Nonetheless, where danger exists, opportunity lurks around too. It is reputed that in that large area, there were countless treasure hidden within. Furthermore, there were several wise men residing in its deep mountains and all sorts of secret martial arts and spiritual arts could be found there as well. Hence, if one is able and fortunate, he could possibly transform from a carp into a dragon and become a famed practitioner in Great Yan Dynasty. Of course, if one is negligent, he could just as easily lose his life. The mental energy map only provides the general location and it does not pinpoint the exact location of the ancient symbol. It seems like we can only investigate when we arrive there. Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows. He was slightly troubled about venturing into the most chaotic and dangerous place in Great Yan Dynasty. Nonetheless, he had no other alternative. Out of the two known locations of these ancient symbols, this was the only one he could go for. Yes. Little Martin nodded his head, before he said, So, when are you ready to leave? We have lingered in Yan City for quite a while. There is no need to stay on any further, let's depart tomorrow. Lin Dong was silent for a moment, before he spoke without hesitation. That place is definitely different from this small Yan City. If you wish to successfully obtain the ancient symbol, you would need to upgrade your strength. Lin Dong gently nodded his head. He naturally understood this principle. Even though he was now a big shot in Yan City, when he arrived at Great Wilderness Province, he would have to keep a low profile. With regards to upgrading his strength, he was already trying his utmost best. Based on your current strength, you should be able to activate some parts of the stone talisman. Activate the stone talisman. Lin Dong was slightly stunned before a fervent feverish glint exploded forth in his eyes as he stared right at Little Martin. He knew that this mysterious stone talisman had an extraordinary background and it may have possessed more hidden abilities. However, regardless of how hard he tried, he could not uncover any other additional abilities. On account of the fact that you helped me to obtain several demonic souls from the old tomb, Little Martin will assist you. As he stared at Lin Dong's expectant eyes, Little Martin pridefully chuckled. With a flash, his body turned into a light beam and flew inside the stone talisman embedded inside Lin Dong's palm. Then, in a flick of his mind, Lin Dong's mental energy swiftly followed behind. 
the dark spiritual domain was now slightly brighter than before. The glowing shadows were still tirelessly displaying every martial arts that Lin Dong had learned. In fact, even the ancient heavenly scales habard techniques and subduing golden platform magic palm were being displayed by these glowing shadows. Furthermore, they were performing these martial arts perfectly. In fact, a major reason why Lin Dong could quickly master these two new forms of martial arts was thanks to these glowing shadows. This stone talisman is exceedingly mysterious and it has been in the possession of several elite practitioners. When these practitioners pass away, they would seal some of their famed skills inside. However, right now, since you are still too weak, you are unable to obtain those skills, little Martin hovered inside the spiritual domain, as he stared at a dark area and casually said. Right now, based on your current strength, you are barely adequate. In terms of martial arts, only your ancient heavenly scales halberd techniques and subduing golden platform magic palm amounts to something. However, your secret art skill is still lacking and that is your current weakness. If this goes on, when you fight with others, based on your current secret arts skill, it would be difficult for you to last. Lin Dong nodded his head. The Tri-Sun art that he possessed was only a second-tier secret arts. Meanwhile, the martial arts like ancient heavenly scales halberd techniques and subduing golden platform magic palm were considered top tier. Even though they were extremely formidable, they took a heavy toll on his body. Though he had pure Yuan Dan pills to support him, it was not a complete solution. Since many elite practitioners have left something behind, then, Lin Dong eyes turned to look at little Martin. Ha, you are quite fortunate. Typically, only after you advance to creation stage can you begin to break through some of these weaker seals. However, after a long period of time, some of these seals have weakened. Therefore, you can barely manage to break them now. Little Martin released a weird smile, before he suddenly waved his claws and shouted, Pour all of your mental energy into my body. When he heard these words, Lin Dong did not hesitate. With a flick of his mind, Countless mental energy rushed into Little Martin's body. As a formidable mental energy gushed forth, Little Martin's body became slightly more lifelike. Promptly, streaks of purple light beams emerged from his claws. When these light streams penetrated into the dark areas of the spiritual domain, Lin Dong could faintly feel that at that area, an item that was hidden extremely well and slowly being taken apart. A shockwave emerged from that dark area. Moments later, Little Martin's claw suddenly jutted forth as a suction force gushed forth. Then, a golden shining column emerged from the darkness as it directly ripped across the dark regions. With an exceedingly forceful aura, it flew forth and hovered in front of Lin Dong. Lin Dong stared at that golden light before he saw that a shining golden ball was hidden within as it slowly rotated. Above that shining ball, were four ancient symbols faintly appearing.